Ooh, take a look at this. This guy asks that guy, what's your PIN number? What's your PIN number? You know what a PIN number is, right? The PIN number is the number you punch in when you use your bank card, right? It's your secret code. Very often people put their hand like this when they punch in their PIN number so that nobody else can see it, right? It's your secret code. And this guy is asking, what's your PIN number? Wow, what should that guy say? He doesn't want to give him his PIN number. So what should he say? Or what about this situation? This guy asks that girl, how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? What should she say? She doesn't want to tell him how much she weighs. So what should she say? Well, we call these kinds of questions personal questions. Personal questions. Personal means like private. Private. You know, it's not information for the public. It's private information. You don't want the whole world to know how much you weigh. You don't want everybody to know what your pin number is, right? So we call these kinds of questions personal questions. Now, do you know how to answer personal questions? Sometimes people ask questions that are too personal. So what should you say if someone asks you a personal question? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you what to say. Hey, if you like getting tips like this, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so this guy's saying, what's your PIN number? That guy could say, that's none of your business. That's none of your business, right? Now, it depends on the relationship between these two people. If these guys are friends, then, you know, he might just jokingly say, that's none of your business. That's none of your business. That's none of your business, right? He doesn't want to tell his friend his, his PIN number right? But he doesn't want to be too rude, right? So he's just joking. He says, that's none of your business. Now, if they don't know each other, um, that's more of a serious situation, right? Then he might have to be really firm. He might say, that's none of your business. That's none of your business, sir. You know, if he wants to be a little bit respectful, he could say, sir, sir, that's none of your business. Okay. Um, that's none. Of. Now we pronounce, you know, none of, uh, sort of gets pronounced like this. None of. That's none of your business, right? We don't say none of, we say none of. That's none of your business. That's none of your business. Sort of like the words going to, right? Very often it gets shortened to gonna. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go there, right? That's none of your business. Okay. Um, now he could also say, I'd rather not say, okay. What's your pin number? I'd rather not say. Now this is a very polite way to answer personal questions. This is probably the most polite way to answer. You can just say, I'd rather not say, sorry, I'd rather not say. Okay. Now if he asks her, how much do you weigh? You know, again, she could say, sorry, I'd rather not say. Sorry, I'd rather not say. Right? That's a very sort of a, a respectful, a polite way to answer the, the personal question, right? I mean, this is a very, a very personal question, right? It depends on the relationship between them. But, you know, if they don't know each other very well, this is a very, a very forward question. Do you know the word forward? We call this kind of behavior forward behavior. That means very, very direct, very bold. So this guy's being very forward. If he asks her those kinds of questions, you know, hey, how much do you weigh? Be my girlfriend. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Like if they just met, right? He's being very forward, very direct, right? So we call that forward behavior. Okay. Um, now she could also answer by saying, that's a secret. Okay. How much do you weigh? She could say, that's a secret. That's a secret. Okay. That's also a nice way to 
not tell him, right? She doesn't want to tell him. Um, so this is also sort of a, just a, a nice way to say. Now, if she wants to be more direct or more rude, she could say, that's none of your business. That's none of your business. Okay, but we can also say this in a joking way too. That's none of your business. That's none of your business. Okay, now sometimes people ask permission to ask a personal question. Right? They ask permission. Okay, for example, this guy might say, can I ask you a personal question? Can I ask you a personal question? Sometimes people ask permission like this. And she might say, sure, sure, right? Um, and then he asks, why did your parents get divorced? Why did your parents get divorced? You know, this question is a bit touchy, right? It's a bit touchy. That means it's a bit, it's a bit sensitive, right? Why did your parents get divorced? That's a very personal question, right? It's, it's really touchy. Now, it depends on the relationship between them. Um, if they're good friends, well, you know, then, then this is a fine question, right? Uh, but let's say they just met each other at a party. They don't really know each other, right? And he asks her, do you live with your parents? Do you live with your parents? And she says, I live with my mom. My parents are divorced. I live with my mom. My parents are divorced. And then if he asks, why did they get divorced? That's a, that's a pretty forward question, right? That's, that's not a good question. That's um, culturally inappropriate. That's inappropriate. You know, you shouldn't ask questions like this um, in our culture. They're too forward. You know, it's too direct. Um, at this point in their relationship, um, you know, a question like this might make her get defensive. Get defensive. Do you know what that means? It means if someone asks you a question or if, if you're in a situation where you need to guard yourself, then you get defensive, right? She might say, why are you trying to pry into my life? Why are you trying to pry into my life? Look at this word here, pry. Do you know what that means? Well, look at this. Look at this tool. In English, this is called a pry bar. Okay, a pry bar. It's a very useful tool if you want to open something that is locked, shut. Then you need to use the, the pry bar and, and, and pry open something. Okay. For example, let's say you find a treasure chest. Wow. You found a treasure chest, but there's no key. There's no key. So you can't get in there. Then you need a pry bar to pry open the treasure chest, right? You need to pry it open. It's the same with this, right? She's asking, why are you trying to pry into my life? pry, right? Because she has not opened up to him yet, right? She's not opened up. So he's being too forceful, right? He's, he's trying to pry into her life. Okay, now friendship, um, you know, in most, in a, like a normal friendship, people open up to each other, right? People open up to each other, right? So maybe if you meet someone the first time, both people might be a little bit reserved, right? A little bit reserved. But after you meet them again and again and again, slowly, you know, they open up to each other, right? So friends open up to each other. But in this case here, they just met each other at a party, right? They just met each other at a party. So, you know, that's why she's getting defensive. So she says, stop prying into my life. Stop prying into my life or stop trying to pry into my life. That's what pry means, right? So sometimes if a question is too personal, people will get defensive. They'll get defensive, right? So, hey, I want to ask you a question. What is your email password? What is your email password? Let me know down there in the comments what you're going to say to this question. 
what should you say? I'm sort of curious to know what you say. Let me know what your email password is down there in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.